hello dear students today we are going to learn about the diseases of wheat as we know that the different diseases that attacks on the wheat and due to attack of the disease it causes tremendous loss in their yield out of the different diseases the one of the most important disease that is called as an black stem rust a brown rust and yellow rust these are the three major rust that affects the wheat crop mostly in hilly areas or in humid areas so let us see the different types of diseases that attack the wheat crop so out of that first one is black stem rust so black stem rust of wheat it is caused by the fungus pachinia graminis triticae regarding symptoms here the in case of symptoms as we indicate the name black stem rust that is stem the stem is mostly infected by the fungus pachinia due to that the stalk is mostly affected or severely affected than the leaf sheath leaves and ears then as we know that the here stalk is mostly affected and as we know that here brownish appearance will be there so that brownish appearance that means there is a attack of uridiospores there are two types of this force uridiospores and teleospores out of that the uridiospore firstly attack on the stem that uridiospores are larger and elongated running together and bursting earlier through the epidermis then that uridiospores are mostly brownish or reddish in color and roundish in shape then that teleospores are like the uridiospores or it is called as an teleospores it is somewhat like a uridiospores but it is black in color mostly that teleospores is mostly observed on all green parts of the plant or green parts of the plant then that pachinia attack mostly on alternate host known as barberis vulgaris or mahonia acrofolia so this is the symptoms of the black stem rust regarding second rust as we know that here the most commonly rust is called as an yellow strip rust as we indicate the strip of that plant is mostly attack that means that pachinia recondita that fungus mostly attack on the leaves then the leaf sheath and the stalk and ears in case of yellow strip rust iridopostules or iridospores are small and oval they do not run together through the epidermis then the iridospores of yellow strip rust are lemon shape or yellow in shape here lemon shape or the yellowish colored iridospores are observed on the leaves then next the teleospores of yellow strip rust is somewhat iridospores but they are dull black in color and they do not burst through the epidermis regarding alternate host of that yellow strip rust the alternate host is bromus japonicus on which the pachinia that pachinia recondita survives their life when there is a unfavorable condition in the environment then the regarding symptoms of brown leaf rust that is third rust brown leaf rust regarding symptoms here that in case of that symptoms leaves are heavily affected than the leaf sheath and on this than the stalks in case of that brown leaf rust iridopostules are small but often larger than the yellow rust then in case of brown leaf rust iridospores are bright orange in color and when it become mature so it become brown in color then regarding the alternate host of brown leaf rust it is thylactrum polygranum then regarding perpetuation of all these three rust the through the primary source of infection is through the iridospores on self sown wheat crop in the hills and secondary infection is takes place through the iridospores in the infected field then regarding the control measure just we to avoid the three types of that rust 
we saw the different resistance varieties for example sd2189 sd4502 dwr162 sd2278 akw2501 niaw34 and 301 these are the different resistant variety against the wheat rust of then also we can eradicate the alternate host and collateral host because during absence of main host that pakshinia survive their life cycle on alternate host then again regarding chemical control we can apply the zineb 0.25% plus 2% area so this is about the rust of wheat regarding second symptoms here regard this is brown, brown rust as we discussed earlier the next one is loose smut of wheat as we know that smut means what the ear head in case of that symptoms that ear head is completely or partially transformed into a black sori as we know that here the ear head of that wheat is completely transformed into the black sori if you touch that the uh, if if you touch this the grains so blackish powder is observed from the infected ear head and only on this remains otherwise all parts of the plant is infected mostly the ear head here so this is the uh, tremendous or very important symptoms of loose smut of wheat that loose smut of wheat is caused by the fungus ustilago triticae then regarding the uh, perpetuation the primary source of infection is takes place through the infected plant debris or infected seeds and secondary source of infection is th- takes place through the irrigations or the wind as we know that the disease is internally seed borne disease so it is very difficult for the control because the whatever the climatic force which is present on the seeds so they can move through the wind so for control of that we can use the two physical treatment that is physical treatment that is solar heat treatment and hot water treatment in solar heat treatment just we have to soak the seeds in cold water for a period of 4 to 6 hours and then it is spread through the galvanized iron sheet during summer season between the 12 to 4 pm and due to high intensity of sunlight if dormant mycelium is present inside the seed so it is killed due to the heat conduction second regarding second treatment that is hot water treatment we have in in hot water treatment you just soak the seeds for the period of 4 to 6 hours to activate the dormant mycelium then dip the seeds in water for 53 degrees celsius for 10 minutes dry the seeds and treat the seeds after that with the help of suitable fungicides for example we have to treat the seeds after onwards with the help of carboxin 2 g per kg of seeds or carb- carboxin plus carbodiazem at a rate of 2.5 g per kg of seeds so this is all about the physical treatment regarding cultural treatment you can use the resistant variety like kalyan sona 227 pv18 wg307 or c302 so this is all about the loose smut of wheat the next one is kernel bunt of wheat here just the kernel bunt of wheat so as we know that that disease is mostly observed in kernel district or kernel district in haryana state so due to that it is called as an kernel bunt of wheat which is caused by the fungus nevoshia indica here what happens the grains which is partially or completely transformed into the blackish powdery mass so this is called called as a bunt of wheat so bunt is nothing but the smut bunt is nothing but the smut that is blackish powder is observed inside the seeds sometime outside the seeds so if such seeds are used for the sowing so germination of such seeds are not takes place and instead of that germination blackish powder is observed in the seeds so this is also a, a important disease so regarding perpetuation 
the infected soil or it is soil borne disease so primary source of infection is infected soil and secondary source of infection is infected ear regarding cultivation or regarding control measure we have to clean the field by collecting and destructing the infected parts of the plants second one we can do the deep plowing during summer season next we can do the crop rotation with the help of suitable crop or just we have to treat the seeds with the help of carboxin that is vitavax that prevent the spread of disease so this is about the kernel bunt of wheat next one is alternaria leaf blight so this alternaria leaf blight is caused by the fungus alternaria triticiana so in case of that if the fungus alternaria attack so they mostly attack on the leaves due to that a uh, brown to black mostly whitish small spots are observed on the leaves when such a spots increase in their size so that spot connected or coalesces with each other to form a large lesions to form a large lesions so due to that that lesions due to that lesions the sometime whole plant it looks unhealthy so this is the alternaria leaf blight or plant shows the burning appearance so regarding perpetuation here the regarding perpetuation the primary source of infection is mostly uh, is due uh, infected seeds or the mycelium which is present in the seeds and secondary source of infection is the see uh, yeah, most secondary uh, secondary source of infection is takes place through the wind regarding control measure just we can do the hot water treatment just we have to treat the seeds with the help of hot water at 52 degrees celsius for 10 minutes or otherwise we can spray the chemicals for control of the disease with the help of mancosep 0.2% at a certain intervals then next one is there next this is called as a black point of wheat so that black point of wheat that means what this is that disease is caused by the different kinds of the fungi due to that it is called as a complex disease it is caused due to the alternaria fungus helminthosporium fungus and fusarium fungus when once there is attack of such a fungus so what happens here the pericarp of maturating wheat kernels turn to dark brown to black with discoloration is occurred if it is caused by the alternaria fungus the dark color affects only the pericarp if it is caused by the helminthosporium or fusarium fungus so the germ may be invaded and injured or killed so there are there there are different fungi that causes the black point but out of that that alternaria helminthosporium and fusarium is most common so this is about the symptoms of black point of wheat regarding the perpetuation so uh, as a, that disease is mostly occurred at duff stage so primary source of infection is the infected seeds and secondary source of infection is the uh, wind here regarding management strategies we can do the foliar application or we have to spray the crop with the help of mancosep at a rate of 0.2% that reduce the severity of that disease and last one is their powdery mildew of disease so powdery mildew of disease is caused by the different mostly the different fungus regarding symptoms here if the fungus is attacks so mostly whitish mycelial growth is observed on the upper part of the plants and if the infestation is severe or if humidity is occurred at that time more so at that time what happens whole plant is completely covered with the whitish mycelial or powdery growth so this is the symptoms of that powdery mildew for control of that we can use or we can dust the sulfur powder at a certain intervals or we can spray the crop with the help of a uh, triazole group or the compound which belongs to triazole group at a rate of 0.1% so this is regarding the diseases of wheat if 
if you have any difficulty regarding that topic that is diseases of wheat so you can ask me thank you